Hello. Welcome. Let's begin looking at the seven directions of the spine in a seated position. Take the time to fold in your legs in a way that reduces distraction and discomfort. <clears throat> and take a moment to settle once you are seated. What resonates with that word? Connecting with your breathing is the next part of that. Soften and be still. Gently close your mouth and move your breath through your nose three times. The sound of the ujjayi breath comes in the, is in the throat mostly. It's a little constriction in the throat that creates a swirling sound. It's like a very peaceful ocean, not a raucous one. Gentle waves coming closer and then going away. For three breaths, let's add to that the Brahmari breath. Somebody's joining in. So before the Brahmari, um, notice your low belly, Uddiyana Bandha. Place the hands there, place both hands there, low in your belly. We've taken away the support of the arms and ask the low belly to be awake, gently tone. And to be a place where you're grounded, where it pulls you out of your head and down into your body. And now the feet breath, comfortable in your seat, find that groundedness in the belly and the legs. And so we just gently hug the skull with the hands, this, this easy, very, um, very friendly variation. You can start closing off your senses by closing the little flips of your ears. So we'll do three where you hum your exhale, gently holding your skull. Inhale deeply. Release when it feels complete, pause and feel. Vibration, notice the pranic body, the energy body. And breathing in, reach up your arms. Breathe out, hands to your heart center. Breathe in, arms up, up and out, whatever feels right. Exhale, bring them beside you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands together down the midline, lifting the skin of the heart center, broadening the back heart, upper shoulder blades away, lower shoulder blades together. Ah. Tuck your chin, lengthening your neck, shoulders down the back, heart lifting a little bit here. And release. The seven directions, we've been doing axial extension for this amount of time, which is a tall, straight spine with the natural curves in place. Let's look at lateral. You could stretch out your legs if you want to give them a break from the cross. Come over to your left side. Reach up with one arm. Slide the other hand away to your own degree. You want to keep the neck free in this pose so that the head turn upward. 
might be possible. Let the eyes go to the northeast. One more time. Exhale, bring down your arm. Inhale, come up to seated. Find your axial top spine and then over to the other side. And you can really do whatever direction of the hand feels good today. Come into your own version. Make sure you're all fine. So we don't want to cause any harming anywhere in the body. Eyes to that upper corner, gently. One more time, breathing in. Start the breath out and then lower down your arm sitting up. Find the inhale when it comes. With the tall spine, come to the left side rotation. We hug across the low belly or catch the knee. Other hand helps you stay tall as you turn your spine. Eyes to the side gaze for one. Not forcing, be gentle, just starting. We do want to explore range of motion, but it let it be Beginning a practice range of motion here. Breathe out, come back to center. Toss spine inhale to the other side, the belly wrap if you'd like, and behind, tall, turn belly, chest, chin, and eyes. One. In twist, we do not need to let the belly. <clears throat> Excuse me. In twists, we need to let the belly relax enough. So it teaches us to tone very lightly when we tone. So that your spine is free to turn. We don't want the belly to be so strong that it stops our spinal twist. Exhale again when you are ready. And inhale to center. Popping out your feet, coming to back bend, extension, heart lift pose. So leaning back, fingers forward. Find comfortable space behind you, maybe six or so inches back. So you may lift out of your shoulders, gently extend into a back bend, gaze down your nose. Lift the center of your chest. Mindful of shoulders, you can move your hands, go back to your own degree. They have the spinning outward energy in them. One more time, breathe in, lift heart. Breathe out, press your hands, come forward. Last direction is forward fold. Stretch out your legs. Free the flesh off of your sitting bones one side at a time. Tilt your pelvis forward. So if that doesn't happen with your legs straight, bend your knees, find that forward tilt. There is no other way. And maybe you've already come to where you're going to come. One choice here is to hug behind the legs. Maybe they don't mind straightening out some more. Come to your own forward fold, toes pull back gently. Maybe turn your head from side to side. Calmness comes with forward folding. Check in with that energy body. How does this feel? You don't have to answer, you just be present with it. One more time. Come up slightly on an in breath. Exhale, go back in to your forward fold. Just finishing range of motion for now. And come up. Cross your legs for one more practice here today. Seated cat cow pose. So lift your heart, bring your belly forward, lift your face a bit, and then tuck your tail under and round, flex your spine, hold your knees, tuck your chin. Second one, inhale. Exhale, flexion. Inhale, extension, unfurl. 
your face, your heart, and a little bit in your belly, and then go the other way. Pull those areas into your down. Four. And five. Coming next to standing, not to rush. Try the no hands variation of your choice if you would like to play with that. Develop it. Anything that you have not mastered is in development. And even when you feel like you've mastered something, there's still something to learn. So come to mountain by your axial extension, set your shoulders and your back heart. So shoulder blades. Broad at the top, together at the bottom. Arms easy. Ready to greet the sun? Inhale, upward reach. Remember your low belly, stay grounded as you open the front body here. A little back bend as you reach the arms. Exhale comes, bring down your arms, come to standing forward fold, tilt the pelvis. Wherever your hands reach, let that be where you go. Halfway lift pose is axial extension, so it's not a back bend, it's a lengthening forward with the top of your head. Belly tones, exhale, going back to Palakasana. Five breaths, plank pose. You may go down to your knees. The hands pick up and reset if they're not quite right. Two breaths are at the talking already. I'm gonna make sure you have what you need if you, especially if you're less familiar. Whole body, broad chest, broad back. Bring down your knees, tuck toes, go back, puppy pose, lengthening spine. We're doing some warming up with this one. Pull the hips back away from the hands. Head down. If you need to reset something or refine it, do so. This light downward dog with the long spine pose. A little bit of a chest opening position as you reach your heart downward. And then forearms to the belly. Work your way out to cobra, bringing together your legs. Pull your hands under your shoulders, lifting your chest. Lengthen through the top of your head for one. Try to set that back heart position here. Shoulder blades flat into the body. One more time, engaging the low belly and the pelvic floor, if you haven't thought of that already. And release down. Back to the forearms in the triangle or the flat hands to come to cow spine. So come up off your belly, step in your knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Coming to your fingertips in cat spine, very light on the hands, round spine. Inhale, exhale. Hands flat, breathe in, cow. We're moving the spine back and forth a number of times. Downward dog or puppy pose, five breaths. Upside down B, do your refinements first. Hold steady, press your hands. Turn your legs, pressing them back. Uddiyana Bandha, uplift and low belly. And setting your gaze back between your feet or your legs. One more time, breathe out. Coming forward with light steps or a little hop and halfway lift. Breathe out when you're ready, slowly fold in. Inhale, standing. That straight leg stance, if it works, builds a lot of strength. Exhale. Axial extension, mountain pose. Inhale, sky. 
Exhale, earth. Inhale, horizon. Exhale, going back. You try wider feet than hands on this one. A little playful. Thighs firm, wide belt around the waist. Exhale. We'll step your feet back hip distance and then knees down. Rise up for a moment for a little camel. Hands into the back pocket. Sensation behind you so comfortably on your seat or low back. Dining your pelvis forward. Lift your rib cage and knees down. One, around the tops of your feet. Two, don't strain. You don't have to go much. Little heart lift. One more time, feel the energizing quality of back bending. Slowly exhale to puppy or downward dog for five breaths. Focusing on or releasing any Physical tension can help with the mental tension as well. Come into your body, your breath. And soften your brain space. Inhale, come forward. And half lift. Exhale, fold forward slowly. Inhale, stand do. Bend your knees if you need to. Legs activate. So you're not straining your low back at all. Stand up and exhale. Bring down your arms by your sides. Speaking of strength, with katasana. Feet hip distance apart. Sit back and down with your hips like you're reaching for a low chair. Knees go back as well. Back. Arms forward or keep them on your pelvis. Two, focus on the lowness today. Three, four, and five. Wait for the inhale, press your feet and return upright to stand. Tilt your pelvis for forward fold. And that stretching out that back that we just strengthened. Come to your favorite hold. I'll lead Pada Hastasana today where you come under with both hands to the wrists or to the base of the fingers. And it's like you're holding your feet like you're holding hands with them. As they say hello to each other here, connects the whole back body, elbows a little wide. There's a light tractioning in the wrist. This brings blood flow into the hands. Not too much pressure on them at all. Just the right amount. Breathing out one more time. One at a time, release your hands. Bend your knees and stand up. Reach up, exhale, hands down. Stepping back, warrior A, left leg back first. Turn towards the front with your ribs and bend your front knee out. It's a nice growing season, so come on in. How's your, how's your stance? Let it be long. And then taking your arms up, bend your left arm, sorry, right arm. Try to catch it with your opposite hand, bringing that elbow towards the back of the head. It is okay for the shoulder to come up to enable that reach across. All right, lift warrior A stance. One, two, pay attention in both of your hips. Low back, this is a back bend. One more time. Release your arms. 
Warrior B is, a, is an axial spine. So turn to the side, it neutralizes the spine. And then we add a rotation of the cervical spine, the neck. Nice big stance for whatever that is today. One. Looking across the front of the hips. Strengthening. One more time. Press into your front foot to straighten arms down and turn to wide parallel feet to the left side. Look down and arrange them. Maybe the toe is in a bit more. Your own stance, whatever wide, legs length distance. Inhale, breathe in, um, lengthen your spine. Breathe out slowly, fold forward. The first stop is on the bent knees, resting the arms. Carry on with straighter legs if it works. Coming to the ankle or big toe hold, widening the elbows, shoulders up, belly up, head down. You don't have to focus on everything every time, just don't cause any harm. Know your body. Calm energy, one more time. Forward folding. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, tone in the low belly. And inhale, coming up. Come back to the top section of your mat. Setting mountain, set the back heart. Join me for working on that. It's my latest thing. <laughs> Other side, warrior A. Now the right leg. Stretch out your stance, whatever that is for today. Lower right down the center and bend your knee over your ankle. Face the front. Bring up the arms. Spread your feet. Catching the opposite elbow. Just trying to guide that elbow towards the back of your body, meet yourself where you are. Lift the back ribs, this is back bend. We don't wanna just lift the front, which is our tendency. Back ribs lift, downward gaze, one more breath, Virabhadrasana A. Release the arms and feel how that helps decrease the back bend. B, turn to the side, neutralize the spine. Knee over the ankle, stretch out your lunge, and add the head turn. One, two, infuse the pose with energy, not force. Strength, empowerment, one more time. What can be softened inside of that? Inhale, coming up, turning to the side. This time, goddess Utkata Konasana, the fierce angle, coming down the center with the toes and knees, turning out. We don't want the knees to collapse inward, so just change your feet if you need to. And don't lower <laughs> center, settle. Ground your pelvis, your feet. Add the eagle pose arms. Right elbow underneath the left. The shoulder hug or the fingers up. One, two, pausing in star pose for the other side. Open everything out, ease the angle of the feet and reach gently. Soft fingers, lift the face, let your face receive the light of the sun, as well as your heart.
coming out and down. Back to the goddess. Roots of the big toes, working in this shape. Left elbow underneath, be with this side of your body. You can rest your thumbs into the center of your forehead a bit if you'd like to add that. Low in the hips, gently challenge your strength here. Feet spreading and pressing, it's very grounding. One more time, breathe out, lowering. Breathe in, straighten your legs, undo your arms, heels out, star one breath, float up. Triangle, you may take more than one breath, turning to the front of your mat, stretch your arms, come over and down. So this is, it's like the, the five top yoga poses that are always recommended in most practices of yoga, triangle pose. You get to know it. Expansive heart, grounding. Breathing out one more time. Use the grounding into the belly center for the transition to the second side up. Arms stretch, legs turn. Exhale comes, go over and down. So refining on your way in to feel just the right amount in the feet. Pay attention in the low back, long spine. Dynamic. One more time. Open yourself up. Exhale down to your belly. Inhale, rise. And exhale, come back to the top of your mat. Setting the back heart. Feel the vital energy of the body. Involving triangle pose. Straight stance, right leg back, forward facing. Every time you gotta find your way in, your logical brain finds the balance. Lengthen the right side of your body, reach up, inhale. You can guide your pelvis into the tilt with your other hand. So lead that forward fold first, and then there's a rotation. The shin is a lovely place to work with one or both hands, long neck. If you're ready to start exploring the opening to the side, you may do so. Find your own revolve triangle. The low back is level. The rotation is in the thoracic and cervical spine, the upper spine and neck. One more time. Breathe in, maybe slightly more open. Release the arm, breathe out, inhale. Stand up, set your back heart position and change sides. So the awareness of the shoulder blades and how they affect the um, humerus bones in the shoulder joint. Stance for the second side, Paravrita Chikanasana. Very different from extended triangle. Let's say hello. Stay here, lengthening the sides of the waist. Add that opening to the side if it's in your practice today. Dynamic in its own way. Strong, steady breathing. One more time. Exhale, come down. Inhale, stand. Set the shoulders and the neck and breathe out, release. Shift weight into your right leg and come into your favorite version of tree pose, big sasana. So countering asymmetry in this pose, trying to stay tall, toes down, wherever you want to bring your leg. Opening to the side is really what's happening here with our hip. 
finding a, a way of centering yourself with your gaze and your hands. Letting the space between the ears be soft and open as you concentrate. And eight, come down and slowly or not and shift to the other side. This is part of the meditation, the transfer without really pausing today, coming into your second side and build this pose where it needs to be for this leg, this hip, this side of the body. Center it up with gaze and hands, eight, Seven. Just gently bring yourself right back if you come out. Let concentration take over everything. Here's the space between the ears. And breathing out, coming down. One more, standing on one, one leg balance, warrior C. You get really good at this one, lots of practice. Over to the um, right leg once again, and this is the one with the leg reaching back, bowing forward. So you can stay more upright or lift that leg and bow more forward. Reach out or hold your waist to help with centering. Do something for stability if needed. One, don't hold back, but don't force. Five, six, seven, eight, other side. One, Two, three, four, and eight. Come on down. Exhale deeply. Vital energy. Increase by practice. Let's bring it into the tissues of the body, standing easy wide. With the, the hands, do a little wrist, it's a little open, soft wrist thump with the hands. Coming up your right arm on the outside, gently thump, 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 down the inside. Let's still be covering the, the softer tissues of the body three times on each arm. It is in the inside, sorry, coming up in the outside. I think it's okay though. This is packing the prana practice, but I hope you enjoy it. And then the chest, avoid breast tissue. Just thump, thump, thump lightly, both hands. Try to just cover that territory that you can get to. Circle on your belly. Towards your left a few times. And back to the thumping at the front of the pelvis. This, feel that energy, energy waves, vibration. Head down into your legs, just the front surfaces on the way down. But work out, work your way in. Avoid the bony stuff. Be really light with that. Brush the tops of your feet off a few times towards the toes, and then towards the ankles. Start your pumps up the backs of the legs. Get into your squat so you can really 
cover those calf muscles, the big drums of the backs of the legs, gradually standing up. Cover all that territory. And tuck your hands onto your belly center, feet together, bamboo in the wind. Just letting go, standing. Settling. Take the time for another breath. Holding the chronic center. Making our way down to the ground. Leaving the fingers together, there's so much energy in the hands. Forward press, up, a little side stretch, a little side stretch. One more inhale, upward reach, little back bend there as you lengthen the front body. Gradually forward fold, step apart your feet, tilt forward and travel downward. Just do a little ragdoll hang for a couple of breaths. Lengthening across the seat to the lower back. And then bring your hands down to support, stepping back with your legs, flowing through to sitting down. So plank or the dip to chaturanga. Preparation. Upward facing dog, we didn't even get to that today. Yet if you'd like to practice it, let's take five breaths in cow or upward dog. Uplift in the pelvic floor, low belly toned. Downward facing dog, you may go through the knees or flip your feet one at a time, step in. One. Two, broad hands, broad shoulders. Before sitting, in your child's pose. Okay, good. <laughs> Rest your shoulders. Let the shoulders hang off the sides of the body in this pose. Child's pose doesn't work for everyone in the same way, so please know yourself. If you're, you need a cushion behind your knees or anything, have it there to tuck in. Or do something else. Bring it out one more time. It's a forward fold with the leg fold, so we can do a seated forward fold next to look at how your child's pose isn't that friendly to your knees or some part of your body, your ankles. Then a seated forward fold with the soft shoulders, take your arms, rest your legs. Often we do this one after the back bends in um, the upper bow pose. Soft shoulder forward fold one more time. So we're just not using the arms, reaching forward with your head and your spine. Bring your hands back to the earth beside you and sitting up. Ankle pumps a few times. And release. Bringing up your right leg, sitting tall. If you need to sit on a blanket edge, you could bring yourself up on one, that's fine. Hip cradle, moving your hip joint, supporting the knee and the ankle. Sit tall. Use your biceps, help yourself out with holding on here. Maybe draw that leg in and away a few times as well. Exploring that hip movement. And then settling back foot beside the inner leg on the other side. 
widening the straight leg for the revolved John Shirsasana, the side bending on here. Side bend over towards the extended leg. Those toes and fingers curious about each other. Spin your gaze upward. Just the right amount for today. Grounding on the exhales in this big stretch of the lower back on that top side. So you really wanna stay strong and grounded in the front body as you do that, especially as you come out. Lead out, belly grounding. Come up slowly, slowly. And release the other way for a moment. Changing sides back to the seated center. Pick up your left leg at the knee. So you're wrapping the arm behind the knee and holding the ankle and foot. So we've got a nice firm hold of this leg for the hip explorations. Sitting tall, maybe away and into the body a few times too. Keep this one where it is. Come into the Paravita tree, uh, Janusher Sasana, the revolved Janusher Sasana pose is a wider open between the knees, side bent, toes and fingers curious about each other. Feel your low back lengthen. Exhale, grounding your low belly. In and up, navel, in and up lightly. Two, gaze spins upward. Three, four, low back lengthening with the strong support of the front body. Exhale. Slowly inhale, come up. Go the other way for a moment, in the other direction. And release. Baddha Konasana, before we lie down, feet together, knees apart. One way to work with this shape is to do the easy fingers back, lean back. It gives you a little more space in your front hips if you'd like to stay there, lifting your chest. Or you can work your hands to your ankles or around your toes. Come on into your version of this today. Tighten it up as much as it feels right. Or stay leaning back. That's where you want to work today. It's fine. Knees reach away from each other towards the ground. Heels press. Inhale, toss spine. Exhale, extending forward. Forward fold, but with a lengthened spine, not a flexed one. Straight spine, tilt forward and down. Your elbows can rest on your inner legs gently. Long neck. One more time. Inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, bring together. Release and lie back. Have anything that you need to keep you warm and comfortable for rest. <clears throat> Coming to the back center of your skull, find your bridge foundation. One set of bridge toes lifting up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Down to the navel center, picking up the pelvic floor muscles into the body lightly as well. Inhale, coming up for one. Two, grounding your upper back in this pose. If you tend to round there, let this pose flatten that out one more time. Come down slowly, keep the 
engagement in your bandhas as much as you possibly can, or just try to think of engaging that stuff. When you're all the way down, relax everything. Widen arms like a T and do a few windshield wipers side to side. Hips and low back. So they go together. And we move together here. Rotations. You may add a rocking side to side with your head if you'd like to. When you come back to the first side, if this feels nice to relax into, you can stay or you could do a different resting twist. But I just, the only thing I changed there was the coming off the sole of my right foot to bring it to the floor. Feel free to arrange yourself in the resting twist of your choice. Arms settle, head turns away from the legs. Rest your eyes. Exhale, rounds to the low belly. With that support, move the low back and hips the other direction, settling into that windshield wiper twist or rearrange roll head, settle arms, rest eyes. Exhale, inhale, head to center, legs and spine to center. We settle so your spine is long, lift up your legs, ankle pumps, knees to chest. Straighten your legs up into the air, big toes together. Palms together, reach up, Uttana Padasana. Lower your legs slowly until you feel engagement in your low belly. Know yourself, not straining your back. So find your own gentle challenge there. Arms go at the same angle. One, two, three, four. Keeping that low belly strong. Inhale, bring it up, fold your knees, rock up and down gently a few times on your low back. Knees close and away, close and away. One more time, close and away, lengthen them out, lengthen the arms overhead, one, Two, they're just straight up here, easy, feet together. Bring your arms beside you, elbows down, open hands, let the legs widen into the hands with that support. Lengthening the insides, inseams, let them rest open for one. Two, three, nine, force. Seems like all adults probably have some tightness in the inner legs. Tell me if I'm wrong about that. Breathe out one more time. Those stabilizers. And here we can use the hands to help release that lengthening. Knees down. Stretch it out one at a time. 
Press your elbows and your skull, lifting your shoulder blades. Settle back down. Try to arrange that back heart position, the shoulder blades, where they belong. And that might um, lead to wanting to reset your low back. So to do that, press your heels, lift up a little bit. Use your hands, you can guide the flesh down a little bit to settle. So you have to feel your way in so that your spine feels centered and it has enough room. Soften from your hips to your feet. Hands on the pelvis can send that softening message. Soft. And bend your hand, your elbows and bring your fingers towards your shoulders and ask them to be soft as well. You let the arms open. Deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth, letting go. Just breathe in a relaxed way and rest. Choose a side to roll to. Bring up your knee on the other side and stretch out your arm so you can roll to that outstretched arm and that side of the body. Gradually rolling yourself over. Breathe out. Roll more towards your belly. Using both of your arms and hands, gradually sitting up. Coming back to a seated pose, little thunderbolt on folded knees, forward folded knees, or the out to the side folded knees as you like. All that supports the top spine. Breathe gently through both sides of your nose. One, two, three, four, Hands into the center of the chest. Inhale. Um. Jack.
Thank you for joining me for practice this morning. An hour of movement with a little bit of rest at the end. I hope it adds up to taking care of yourself in a good way for today. And I guess that's why you're here. So I feel transformed at the end. <laughs> 